I got back from the doctor and I decided I got to have an option on the table. So I went to the farmrescue.org website and, and uh, you know, I didn't know how long it would take me. I thought, you know, I make a phone call. Am I going to sit and they want all these papers or what's it going to be like? So I checked it out and I think I filled the app out in five. It was just minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, it was real easy. It only took a few minutes. And then within a day, they were, they within a day, they had called me, Farm Rescue. And I think 12 hours later, they had approved it. So it was really, really fast. Mm -hmm. It was just a matter of them getting, coordinating. coordinating their guys to get here. And they came from all over. I mean, they're from Illinois and Indiana and Ohio and Utah. It was, well, they come a long way. Yeah. So I was impressed with how fast Farm Rescue put it together to, to make it all happen. The day he had his accident, I was um, actually, we homeschool our children, and um, I was over at my uh, brother's and sister-in-law's house. We co-op together on certain classes, and we were actually doing school that morning, and he c called me right in the middle of class and said that he had fallen off the grain trailer and thought he maybe broke his ankle and I needed to come home, so I, I rushed home and right when I got in the, the yard, his, his dad was already here and they were um, leaving to go to the doctor. So they went, went to the doctor and found out, yeah, he had broken his heel in four or five places. So. I was fixing on a grain trailer and I was inside doing some stuff in there and had a ladder up on the trailer. And I knew it wasn't very stable, but I'd go up the ladder felt okay with that and then I climbed down the trailer ladder well I made one time I climbed down the ladder I had up there and it it went out when I was about I suppose 10 feet up so I knew I was in trouble when I hit the ground and broke my heel so I just had surgery what yesterday mm -hmm. I think he he screwed her together and put a plate, um, in. Put a plate in it so yeah, I thought I had a, just a bad, maybe a bad sprain, ankle. ankle sprain, but I wasn't that lucky. So that's what happened to me. And it uh, wasn't too bad until I had surgery. Now I can't really do anything. So Farm Rescue is gonna do, or is doing 250 acres of soybeans. And there's, there's more, but it's not quite ready. Uh, and they might come back to do maybe 400 acres of corn at some point. I'm glad Farm Rescue is there to help. I, I knew right away he couldn't, couldn't possibly do it. I couldn't do it. Um, so definitely I didn't have any trouble asking for help. So They didn't roll in with an old 20-year-old combine. It was brand new, state-of-the-art, you know, best of the best. And the head is, I was impressed. It was, it was pretty impressive. They come in with something like that. And, you know, you know they're going to get it done when they show up with that, so. Well, I really appreciate the men who are helping. Phil and Fred. Phil, Fred, and Emil. Emil, and uh, Andy. Andy. Um, they're all so nice and uh, friendly. We're really enjoying getting to know them a little bit. And um, I've been taking meals out to them because there really isn't anything in our community. Our local cafe closed down. Um, and we just have a very small grocery store, so there really, really isn't much um, as far as food. So I've been, I have been taking meals out to them, um, and hopefully they've been enjoying them. But nobody's <laughs> sick yet. Nobody's sick yet. Yeah. <laughs> the farm rescue volunteers. They showed up. They, yeah, they, you know, you don't know. They're uh, older fellows, not older, but they're good yeah. guys. I like them. They're all very. They'll bend over. They'll do whatever you say. They're willing to help and they did they're doing a really good job really happy did you like that big combine Lee? yeah he likes yeah. all the guys they're all so friendly and he enjoys like Fred. going out there and, and meeting <laughs> them and getting to know them and olivia likes making the meals helping his her mom make the meals <laughs> jackson he's had a long day of combining <laughs> from the time i called farm rescue or filled out the application to spoke to him on the phone carol and lynn uh it's been seamless. It's just been, you knew they were going to come, you know. My initial, my initial thought was, well, they might not even approve you, you know. But once 
once I called them, I knew pretty much that they were going to come no matter, you know, whatever it took, they'd make it work. So yeah, I was very impressed. It was going to happen, and they did her, and they've done a good job. If you want to help an organization, Farm Rescue would be a great organization uh, in the egg business because what they do isn't cheap. You know, those combines aren't, they're expensive, what they bring. It costs a lot of money to get it here and maintain it, and somebody's sacrificing to give it, to bring it out from the dealership, and nothing's cheap anymore, and then you got to bring four guys and fly them around the country, and so, yeah, you know, they would be, I'm sure, very grateful to get more people on board to, to sponsor. That'd be awesome. Yes, a big yeah. thank you to RDO and all the sponsors, Walmart, thank you so much. Yeah.